just wanted to give you guys an update on what's going on with my course and what I'm doing. I'm trying to get in contact with some people who are willing to go through my course while I make it. Give me some feedback on what I can improve, challenges that they're having with becoming a content creator. Just really trying to hone in on my target audience. I put out a story uh, yesterday, I think, and I was not expecting this many responses. I think I have about 99 responses right now, which I did not expect. I got like seven to eight K views on the stories, which is all it, which is an exceptional story. I don't know how stories work and how people see them, but for some reason that story has been popping off maybe because people have been actually, that's probably it because people actually in the story, I included what my course is about, what it's for and that I'm looking for beta testers and then I included a Google form link that people can click on and it'll, they'll be sent. Oh no, it wasn't a link, it wasn't a link. I was using a ManyChat automation so I would put in the story, if you're interested in becoming a beta, beta tester, type create in this story and I'll send it to you in a DM. I think because there was a lot of people that responded to that story, I think that's why Instagram probably ranked that story high. I haven't really thoroughly gone through the responses but I am getting a lot of data on what people are wanting from a, a course like what I'm creating, which is really helpful. I'm also uh, getting in contact with a lot of cool and knowledgeable people that are willing to help me out. And I'm also getting a lot of people who are like half assing everything. It's like I've done like these Google form things a lot as a content creator and there's like, it's, it's probably like, 60 to 70 percent of the responses are half-assed and what I mean half-assed is like you can tell in a Google form when people are taking it seriously just by how uh, just by how they fill out the form so they'll like intentionally skip things they'll uh, not go into detail it'll be like a uh, like a, a three word response those are those are the people that you don't want you want people who actually fill out the form thoroughly, actually give you a good, detailed, well thought out response that actually helps you, that has value, but that's, that's expected, I expected that. And all, there's a lot of people throughout the entire world. I was looking, I, I had a question in there, like where, where are you located? I was expecting more US. Out of the 99 responses, there's maybe like less than 10 people that are from the US. I'm probably gonna be taking maybe a handful of people. Uh, I'm gonna be showing them the course as I create it. They'll give me feedback and we'll get them started and hopefully have them become a testimonial success story. And as far as like where I'm at with the course right now, uh, I haven't done much. I haven't done much since the last video I made. So right now I only have module one done, but I'm still working on the course as far as like uh, research, uh, getting data with the Google form and all that. So I'm still like working on it, just not directly as far as like working on modules and stuff. I have a few things I have to get done first, like sponsored videos, uh, posting my regular content. I am probably not gonna be taking any more sponsorships until this course is finished, unless it's a really, really, really good one. After I finish the sponsorships that I have now, uh, I'll probably close that off and just really focus and put my focus on number one, the course, number two, my usual content that I post ideally daily. I saw you guys in the comments in the last video. Appreciate you guys commenting. It helps me realize that there are people actually watching this video and uh, that you guys are actually interested in this. So if you're watching right now, let me know in the comments. If you don't know what to comment, just, just say hello. Just say hello. Let me know that there's real humans behind this GoPro that are actually watching this. I've never, this is my first type of like vlog type thing. I've done, I've only done like video recordings like at my desk or like gameplay stuff with my old content channels. Like I have, I have my GoPro on my dash right now with like the stand it's kind of, kind of holding itself. I'm just kind of babbling now. I don't think I have any much more to say. I'll see you guys in the next one.